Hi, this is Christina Pollock with Inspirations and Celebrations. Today we are at Macy's in San Francisco and we are speaking with a celebrity chef and restaurateur, Takashi Yagahashi. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you got involved in restaurant yeah, business. It's been a long time and, uh, you know, I always loved the food. Probably my father in, in Japan. He always took me somewhere, good restaurant, not fancy restaurant, but it's a good restaurant. And uh, he can make an excuse, he wanted to have a drink. Uh -huh. Then always he told me, that, hey, Takashi, order anything you want. That's, That's the starting, like, I'm always loved food. Then I grown up in Japan, then 30 years ago, one day I decided that, okay, let, let me see that the, what kind of the country is that America is kind of, you know, I was young, uh, almost like a curious George. Mm -hmm. So I came to here, then I never go back. I love that. So how did you get involved in a little bit of, it's like French cuisine and Asian style cooking? Right. So my specialty is totally mixed up. Some people call confusion food. Or <laughs> fusion food, fusion food exactly. <laughs> So you, I do that, so many mixed up French food, American, and my background is the Japanese. So I put a lot of Japanese ingredients, so, and I love it uh, because, you know, I, I try to do is always imaginations coming from if I put this ingredients and this ingredients, sometimes classic French to Japanese something. And, uh, you know, maybe I can create a new uh, flavors and the complex of the uh, all different things. Usually, my imagination is right. That's good. <laughs> but sometimes there's you try it out exactly. <laughs> well, that's how it seems to work with entrepreneurs. Everyone they have yeah. to try things out and see what works. So they always say that if you if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. So it sounds like you're very passionate about what you do. How do you? How do you continue to keep yourself inspired to continue to develop new recipes? Yeah, I think totally you're right. And if you have a passion about it, if you love something, you're doing it, usually most of the time you do a great job. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when get there is very, very, you know, crucial and important. A lot of people are wondering, hey, this is a great job, or this is, you know, I don't know exactly what I wanted to. I'm very lucky that I find out that when I was young age. So after that, I just do, you know, this is a fantastic, I want to do so many different ways, but direction is always the same. So I'm very, very lucky. What are some of the challenges you've had to overcome in your career? I guess this business, restaurant business and other chef, you're going to spend all your time in your kitchen. So sometimes you have to give up a lot of things that you sometimes you girlfriends or your families or hobby or but you know again if you love what you're doing that you know it doesn't bother people. and hopefully people who are part of your life understand that and they support that we have friends who are restaurateurs in the Carmel area too and it's a it's a very challenging business not only are you working very hard mm -hmm. you have to maintain a level of consistency and quality right. output but you have demanding hours too right which is true absolutely yeah so what would you say some of your um, must-have kitchen gadgets are? I think, you know, a lot of people talk about the equipment and a great oven and, like, you know, a nice, you know, knife. However, mm -hmm. you know, people bring up that. For me, it's sometimes, you know, if you're working, always saying the area, like a home, you know, you always think about it little by little bit, changing something. Maybe I should work this way or that way, you know. Then you know it's a it's a bring up the, your own uh, dream kitchen. So you no, know, don't just don't give up. That okay, my kitchen is too small mm -hmm. and too hectic there. But you know, think about it. I always think that how can I do that? Three things in a ten minutes. True. Yeah, same time. Yeah, efficiency. Yeah. Right. I agree. Well, it's great meeting you and thank nice you for taking the time to interview with us. Thank you so us. much. Thank you.